For social studies today, we are going to Israel, a famous country rich in art, culture, and religion. Let's go! Chapter 1. Welcome to Israel. Visit the Dome of the Rock. It is a holy place. For who? Jewish and Muslim people. It was built in the 690s. You can also visit the ruins of King Herod's palace. He became the king in year 37 BC. You are in Israel. Israel was formed in 1948. Why? To be a homeland for Jewish people. Arabs live here too. They are called the Palestinians. Many of them do not want Israel to be a Jewish country. This conflict has caused two wars. The first one was in 1967 and it was called the Six Day War. The second war is the Yom Kippur War which was in 1973. There is still conflict even today. Did you know that Israel have a very strong military? All non-Palestinian men and women must join. When? When they are at the age of 18, they must serve for two or three years. Jerusalem is considered the capital of Israel. It is a holy city. Many people visit the Western Hall. Why? To worship. People write prayers on paper and then they put them in the cracks in the wall like this. Chapter 2 Israel's people. Most Israelis live in cities. They live in small apartments. They take trains or buses to get around. Bicycles are popular in Tel Aviv. This is the country's second largest city. Many people work developing technology like what? Jets, medical equipment, cell phones. Some work cutting and polishing diamonds like this man here. Many also have jobs in tourism. Jewish people from around the world can become citizens here in Israel. This is called the law of return. Many immigrate here. From where? Europe and other parts of Middle East too. Children wear uniforms to school, like them. They learn different languages. Which one? There's English, Arabic, Hebrew. And students go to school six days a week. They have the Saturdays off, which is the day where they rest and worship. What do you think? Jewish and Arab students go to separate schools. Do you think they should attend the same school? Why and why not? Let me know down below. Chapter 3 Land and Animals Coastal plains lie along the Mediterranean Sea. The Negev is a desert region in the south. Good farmland is in the east. What crops grow here? The citrus fruits, olives, dates, grapes and many vegetables. The Dead Sea is also on the east and it is the lowest place on earth. It is even below sea level. How far lower? More than 1400 feet which is about 400 meters. It is very salty in the Dead Sea. Fish and plants cannot live here, but people enjoy floating in it like these two girls. Millions of birds fly over Israel. When? During the Yili migration. Kula Valley is one place to see this. Here you will find partridges, wobblers, cockles and desert larks. Israel has many kinds of plants. How many? More than 2,800 kinds. They have coral peonies, lupine, desert papyrus reeds, and they're all very beautiful. Israel sure is a fascinating country. Would you like to visit one day? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some new words we learned in today's book. The first word is capital, which is the city where government leaders meet. The second word is citizen, which is the people who have full rights in a certain country, such as the right to work and the right to vote. Crops are plants grown for food. Immigrate means to move from one country to another and to settle there. Majority means more than half of the people in a group. Migrations are movements of people or animals from one region or habitat to another. Military are the armed forces of a country. Plains are large flat areas of land. Population is the total number of people who live in a place. The president is the leader of a country, sometimes in a ceremonial position. The prime minister is the leader of a country. Ruins is the remains of something that has collapsed or been destroyed. Tourism is the business of serving people who are traveling for pleasure. And finally, worship means to show love and devotion to God or a God, especially by praying or going to a church service. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this amazing country called Israel? Let me know down below. And also, share with me some interesting things you learned in today's book. 
take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.